So this video is still on representation theory and we are doing revisions for linear algebra. And finally, we got to the video of the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. So in the previous video, we saw what the characteristic polynomial of a matrix is. So let us call it PA of X, the characteristic polynomial of A. So the Cayley-Hamilton theorem says that uh, if P A of X is the characteristic polynomial, A satisfies the characteristic polynomial. Or uh, the Cayley-Hamilton theorem says that any linear operator, any linear operator is A zero of its characteristic polynomial. So. Of course, in the context of linear algebra, we did not see A as a, an operator, but only as a matrix. So, but it is um, known that any n by n, any n by n matrix, so every square matrix, satisfies its own characteristic equation. Okay. Uh, this is a funny fact that this theorem is called Cayley-Hamilton since it was Frobenius who proved it and not Cayley and not Hamilton. But we are not going to get into that conversation of the, the names of the theorems. That will, will take us far with many, many uh, strange and funny surprises. So if A is in the set of endomorphisms of a vector space V, the minimal polynomial of A, that I'm going to write M A X, the minimal polynomial of A, is the smallest degree monic polynomial F of X, such that F of A equals zero. So this will, will be the minimal polynomial of A. Now we are going to, re to review a proposition. This is a very simple proposition. If Q of A equals zero, where A is the operator, of course, then the minimal polynomial, so the smallest degree of monic polynomial, Okay, the minimal polynomial will divide this Q of X. The proof is so uh, simple that it's pointless to do it here. And this proposition has a important, I would say important corollary. If the, if the characteristic polynomial so P A of X is the characteristic polynomial of an operator A, then the minimal polynomial, the smallest degree monic polynomial, so the minimal polynomial, the smallest degree monic polynomial F of X, will divide the characteristic polynomial. Okay. Uh, this concept of um, minimal polynomial, it's very important because it's going to provide us a criterion for the diag diag diagonalization of a matrix. Okay, so it will help us to diagonalize a matrix. Okay, but we are going to, to see that uh, about uh, diagonalization of matrices in the next video.